Hello, my name is Dennis Dekterenko, and this is my demo for the Final B58 project. I'm going to start off by assembling the code and running the game. This is my platformer. I'll start by showing the basic features. So I have multiple platforms that move around. I have the player moving side to side on the platform right now by pressing A and B. I can also move up and down between the platforms by jumping, double jumping. Or moving down to drop off of the platform that he's standing on. Then next, I have a few additional objects, including the cannon up, top of, um, up on the top of the screen that shoots a cannonball that flies down, trying to hit the player. Also, I have the spikes on the sides of the level, which should do damage to the player if he gets too close. And uh, I have the restart button on P, so if I press P right now, the game detects and, and can restart. I can also do that in the middle of the game as well, not just on the ending screen. So everything for milestone one. So this, uh, the character can move side to side, up and down. Collision is properly detected when players moving between platforms. So here, if I jump from one platform to another, he can land on it. And if I drop down from a platform, then he can land on the platforms below. He's also not able to go past the sides of the screen, so if I try to go all the way to the right, he can't move any further to the side. The bottom of the screen is also a floor, and the left is also inaccessible. Now on to the additional features in Milestone 3. So first of all, I have the health and score in the bottom. The health bar initially starts with 3 health. When the player takes damage, the portion turns red, and the player changes color to indicate that he has taken damage. When his color is changed, that means that he is invulnerable and can't take any more damage while in that state. That's also indicated by the red color of the health bar. So once he is taking damage, the that portion of the health bar is red. And once it turns black, it means that the player can now take damage again and has completely lost that bit of health. Then I have the score, which is basically just a timer that counts down. And uh, the objective is the end of the game is to survive until the timer runs out without losing all, all the health. Once the timer runs out, right about now, we get the victory screen for the win condition. Again, I can restart the game by pressing P at that time. I can also show the fail condition one more time. So once health of the player reaches zero, you see the black losing screen. Restart. Collision is properly detected with the platforms and also with the cannonball. I can show you that once the cannonball passes through the player, the player takes damage. So yes, I've shown the moving platform as well. As for, for the moving objects, I have the cannon and the cannonball. And also, the cannon is also technically a shooting enemy, which shoots the player. And I guess the last feature can show off is the double jump. So once the player jumps, he can jump again in midair, but only once. If I keep pressing W one again, one he is in the air, nothing's gonna happen. So here I can jump up, but I can't jump again until I go up to the next platform. So here if I jump once. If I jump once, I can jump again, but then I need to fall down to the floor or the platforms in order to jump again. So I believe those are all the features I wanted to show off in my game. Thank you for watching the demo. This is the end.